swimming through the bottom of the ocean because of the La Nina in the Pacific. And as you can see in here right now, we have a heavy rain in the Romeo metropolitan area. And that angry shark is looking for you. He's still talking about the Waco incident and the gold bullion. Look out, Vincenzo! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Vincenzo, you think you can get away from me? Huh? Because you haven't heard from me in a while. Well, I just got out of jail. The fucking FBI Waco style. Fuck her! Threw me in fucking jail because you're a scumbag sitting in these useless meetings for two hours. I got fleeced, heisted, and shisted in the gold and silver bullion market. After all, ah, you told me to go there to make up some gangs, and now I just got released, and I'm after you behind every window. Vincenzo! crypto investing for you like subscribe and share for that one of a kind uh tarzician based uh biavia approved uh trading alert right good pre-sunrise on this 29th of september Early autumn, approaching mid-autumn, if you can believe that already. I remember when we were approaching early summer, and now we're almost approaching mid-autumn on this 52-degree uh, beautiful morning with a few high clouds streaming out and streaming in as the sun begins to progress its way from the far west to the far east, or the far east to the far west. And we begin to see some sunlight and it have uh, all the makings for a spectacular, gorgeous, beautiful sunrise in the greater Mount Clemens metropolitan area and the great state of Michigan, right? We're going to go into the coins, but the Dow Jones, we've been warning about the Dow Jones, about we are way overdue for a massive crash. And now would not be the time to speculate in the Dow Jones. And you see, we've been in this. As we zoom on out, like we always say at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, as we know, uh, we got VGCINews.com. That's right, VGCINews.com, a.k.a. Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing News.com. But you have to go to the search bar and type in VGCINews.com, right? And we've been all over this as far as this humongous and a super simple, easy way to trade this manipulated market, this huge fat COVID rising channel that started all the way down there, right? Or this is the big overall rising channel. Then the COVID rising channel is even smaller, but it's phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that phenomenal. It came up from about just above the 200 day moving average or I'm going to get rich zone got supported off of right almost at $18,000 equal and we've had a COVID pump now all the way almost to $37,000 38,000 on the Dow right but we're starting to bleed out now we've been showing you this trend lower it's been a step down right you see that it's a step down with our industry exclusive whatever shows up here Ah, oh, this bullshit line tool. I want my perching tool. But you can see we're at the upper end. Got rejected. Got supported. Then we were a little bit lower. Got rejected. Got supported. Then we were a little bit lower. We're trending down. We're stopping down. We're tightening up and we're constricting. This looks stupid with this dumb arrow. This arrow sucks. These are what douchebags use. Oh, I'm going to point over here. Oh, hell no. Uh, no, you're not. You're going to glance over here. No, no, right? And then you see we broke out when we put this Vincenzo watch up right there. As we zoom in now, now that you know where we're coming from with the Fed pump, with all that fucking money, we put that Vincenzo watch. Let's get our industry exclusive perching tool because that arrow is fucking bullshit. That little pointer shit, that's not even a fucking arrow. It's a pointer. It's a bullshit pointer. Look at that sexy pointer tool. This is the pointer tool right here. Industry exclusive. We were warning every time we touched one, two, three, and a whole slew. Now we blood over and then we had an emergency panic limit orders get triggered right there and we had a big 1500 point crash or push down then we push back up now we're starting to push back down and if you can't come back up and retest and re-enter this channel up there at 37,000, you have a big fall 
down to like we always say to look into where you go to when you break out of a pattern go to the three hour time frame and go to the 200 day moving average three hour time frame crashed through the 200 day moving average but had resistance and then had some support and now resistance but it's a big line and now we're back through and if you take out this old short-term low at 33,626 you're gonna have a big fall and I think we're setting up for a phenomenal October crash and the Dow Jones look uh, maybe coming to the 1987 crash the 1929 crash right the 1910 crash all these crashes it's gonna be a famous October bloodbath I believe now as we move into what you guys care about these overpriced coins but they're pumping I told you they could pump yesterday we went into Bitcoin already we're going to give you some of your other nonsense. The quant, right? Let's see how these are doing. Quant's been trading down. And now, oh, yeah, remember that head and shoulders? See, this is why I like coming back to shit after. Remember that head and shoulders topping reversal pattern? Right? Right here. We diagnosed that out when it was midway through the head. You go from the top. Oh, this is stupid. I need to put it back favorites. To the point of a breakout, right? Bam! Hit that dot on the target. See that? We diagnosed, sniffed out, and detected that topping, head and shoulders topping, reversal pattern, right? Check me out at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing Twitter at a glance. Check out me at Twitter at a glance, Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, right? See if you're uh, driving to work like I am, working out, exercising at the pool on vacation or at church at a glance, you can stay up to the date on the cryptocurrency market, right? We showed you where this was going. Now you're holding support. If you can't hold that support, you're going to come back down to 260, right? The Digibyte continues to crash, right? We were telling you we're probably going to the top end of the shithouse at 0.035. But this is the one you guys all said was a stable coin when it was at 20 cents. And I told you it's going to crash to a penny. And you all laugh, but you're not laughing now. But today you might try to bounce back to that 0.05 could try to retest up a resistance where you got rejected once by that white line put our industry exclusive crosshairs see that you got rejected there and then came down you might try to trade back up and back test it we'll keep you updated on that and we'll keep you updated on everything across the board we got a little zill action going on we're at the bottom of the get my shit together box we've been telling you we're going to come back down there after we had that huge pump from the last time we peaked below it and it telegraphed the pump for you and we were on top of that now, if you can't hold that support at that 0.0769 mark and try to bounce back up, you could crash down halfway down to the shithouse, right? Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. As I get into work and we get this day underway, Vincenzo will bring you up to the date and technical analysis that you need to know so you don't get fleece heisted and chisted. As you can see, the overall market continues to pump like we were calling for 3000 $2,669 pump today in Bitcoin. We're halfway there. I think we got much, much bigger pump on in store, right? I think we're going to keep moving up to get that target. But we'll just have to stay tuned to find out if these fabulous predictions come true, right? Peace and love.